walk, I'ma walk that walk. I only speak facts. None of these bitches is seeing me, and that's just that I'm that. Stay down ten toes, I'm a real bitch. I don't play around, I walk in and kill shit. Big cubing on my neck, cause a whole brick. Made myself a boss, now I'm a rich bitch. I'm a rich bitch. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, it's Nirani, and I am back with another video. And as you guys see by the title and thumbnail today, I have a Chick fil A mukbang. I haven't done a mukbang in I don't know how long, but yeah. I do a dash, Mr. Chick fil A. It is currently 12 16. It's February the 11th. I just got done doing two heads. I had one more appointment at three, and I was super hungry. So, yeah. I decided to do a dash with some food. Um, yes, I know I'm supposed to be eating this, but we're just going to say today is my cheat day because it's Friday. Okay, period. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all what I got. So, first, I have a large fry. I tell y'all I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And I went out last night and I left my fucking wings. I spent $24 on and I left them pissed. And I just got me a number one, basically like just the regular chicken sandwich. And then I also got some nuggets. And then for my sauces, I just have some honey mustard sauce. Some chick fil Chick-fil-A sauce, which is my favorite, y'all. I literally buy Chick-fil-A sauce. And then I have Polynesian sauce. So easy. Then we also got some mayonnaise put on my chicken sandwich. And then I got my other honey mustard right here, just in case I have flour sauce, which I'm probably not. And then I got me some water because I don't have a drink. And yeah. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Matter of fact, I got probably like a little mini story time I can tell y'all. Hold on. I would have to find the um Okay boom got the response. I don't know why I did. Okay, yeah. I got the receipts right here, so let me go on his screen shot these. Okay. So let me start eating. I'm so hungry. Let me get some food in my system favors. But yeah, before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn those post notification bell so you can get notified every time. Yeah, I upload another video. Don't forget to become one of my best friends because I love all my best friends and all my best friends love me. And that's on who and that's on what. Somebody piss me up when it's green, period. Also, mm, trying to be watching this. I just, oh, shit. Let's disregard it. I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. But anyway, I know y'all be liking story times and stuff, but sometimes I just be feeling like my story times don't be long enough. I have, you know, I don't really, I don't really have problems with clients and stuff for real, but the few that I do have, wait, of course the ones that, the ones that I've told on my channel already, the ones that I told on my channel already, but I do have, you know, some many client story times, and I guess I'm going to tell y'all one of these, one of them right now while I'm eating, because it's really not much to it, but I can still tell y'all, I just want y'all, I ain't gonna say I want y'all opinions, because let me see. Yes, I do. I do want y'all opinions here if I was, you know, wrong or anything. But, yeah, that's what I'm gonna tell y'all. As soon as I get situated with my food because I'm hungry. Got me some chicken nugget, y'all. Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets really not chicken nuggets. really motherfucking balls because what the fuck is this? This not no chicken nugget. Got that chicken ball. They good though. No crap. Okay. Ooh, we know. This is why I do my back. I like to eat. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. This happened last year. Um, I'm going to go to the exact date. Okay. So I had this girl book an appointment with me. She booked the appointment August 27, 2021. But she booked the appointment for September the 2nd. And she was getting 36 inch soft lock. She was in 36 soft loss. 
So the first message she texted me, September 1st, like I said, her appointment was September 1st. She texted me, she said, good afternoon, this is Naranya. A quick question for you. I'm at the hair store now. I'm not sure how many packs of each color to get for my appointment tomorrow. I really like this style you did. Is that two light browns, two dark brown packs, or one light brown, three light brown? Three dark brown. I said two of each. She said, okay. And what color water wave and how long? I said the water wave needs to be. I said the water wave needs to be the same color as the locks. She said, okay. So, of course, she gets here and stuff like that. First of all, let me just say that her real hair was like waistnet. Let's just say that. Her real hair was waistnet. She's getting 36 inch soft locks. I did not know the length of her real hair. Okay. So, I can put that down for a step. She get here to her appointment and she, I take her bun off. When I see her real hair, it's waiting there. It's cool, it's no problem at the moment until I start braiding her hair down and I put the locks in and when it's time for me to wrap their hair, she has eight inch um, water wave hair. But her real hair is about 24 inches, but she has eight inch water wave hair. And the waterway hair is to be wrapped around her locks and her rear hair to cover her hair. So I'm like, why did you get H inch hair? Like, you know, I'm like, <laughs> whatever. Like, I was just really confused. So she, her thing was, she said, I asked you, did she even ask me? Oh, she did. She said, I asked you how long should the hair be? Granted, I didn't answer that, that part of the question. I just told her that the hair color need to be the same as the locks. So yeah, that is a mistake on my behalf, but I probably would've told her to get 18 inches because I always just recommend 18 inches. And that still wouldn't have been long enough. So she brought eight inches. So I said to her, I was like, why would you get eight inch hair if your real hair is like 24 inches long? Like. You know, that just didn't make sense to me. I, and honestly, like, why the fuck would you do that? Like, like who would do that? Like, why? Like, nothing clicked. You could at least get 18 inches. She, she literally bought eight inch hair, y'all. So, I just so happen to have the hair color that she wanted. I had some extra hair that though. One, because when she booked her appointment, she sent me a picture from my hair page from a girl hat I just previously had did. So, the girl ended up leaving some of her hair. Well, she left the remainder of her hair, so I had extra hair. Cool. So, basically, it's like I'm providing the hair. Okay. So, boom. Did her hair turned out beautiful. If I can find a picture of her hair, I will put it on the screen. Hair turned out British. Of course, as always, as all my clients say, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, her hair was tight. Their locks, they're gonna be tight, you know. And yeah, there was the conversation. So boom, like I said, I did her hair September the second, September the fifth, at three twenty nine a.m. Three o'clock o'clock in the morning. She texts me, "Hi, Destiny. I had an appointment with you for soft locks on September the second. I want a refund." On the style because sadly I ended up having to take them down the same night because the pain was so unbearable. Pause. If you took them down the same night, why did you not text me that night? Why you wait three days later to text me if you took them down the same night? Okay. I tried to loosen it so many different ways, but nothing worked. But you just said you took them down the same night, so how did you try to loosen it? Okay. I also did try to keep some in the back to see if they were loosened up, but they didn't. Again, you just said you took them down the same night. How did you try to do all these things? And, and let's, let me just tell y'all, her appointment was at 8 o'clock in the morning. You didn't even give your hair time to loosen. If you took your hair down that same night, that means you only gave your hair a couple hours to loosen. Let's be realistic here. That's not going to happen. You could at least give it a couple days a week at the most. There are locks. They're not braids. So... I call bullshit. I also did try to keep some in the back to see if they were loosening up, but they didn't. I ended up having to take those back ones down yesterday morning. You just said you took them down the same night. So how you go from taking all your hair down the same night to taking some down in the back yesterday morning? 
Oh, okay. I ended up, yeah, because I couldn't even sleep or eat without being in excruciating pain while doing so. I love the locks though. It was just way too tight. And I never had to take any style that I had before. This was the first time. First of all, I don't go, let me not say that. First of all, I just feel like it's bullshit. Your hair being tight ain't got shit to do with you eating. Sleeping, yes, but eating, no. So don't try to text me on some, oh, I can't even eat. Like to make me feel bad, cause I don't. Because one, you just said you took your hair down the first night, then turned around. Oh, I took it down the day before. She texted me or some shit. So red flags on red flags on red flags. Honestly, she probably didn't take the hair down. Then to end the message off, you said that you love your hair. It's just too tight. You literally only gave it a couple of hours. So you say for it to unloosen, like. Make it make sense. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Please. Please let me know if I'm wrong. I don't know if y'all opinions on my story time at your time. I don't know if I'm wrong. So I took back at 9 o'clock in the morning. Like I said this story time is short. Real short. I said good morning. I apologize for the inconvenience. But I cannot refund you for the simple fact that I did nothing wrong to your hair. I would understand if your hair was coming down, but you chose to take them down. Exactly. Now, if she would have texted me and said, hey, my hair is unraveling way too bad. I had to take them down because they were just unraveling. Cool. Refund. You can have it. Let's, let's, let's fuck up on my end. So, yeah. Cool. Or I would have offered to rewrap them for you. You know, but that's a fuck up on my end if your hair is unraveling and you have to take them down. That deserves a refund. But I said also, I took my time to do your hair. Y'all, it literally took me like seven hours to do the girl hair. Only because her real hair, like I said, was like about 24 inches long. It used to take me like three hours. No, it didn't take me seven. It took me like five hours. It used to take me about three hours, two to three hours to do soft locks. No cap. Anybody that got soft locks for me, they know. It takes me about two to three hours. It took me about five to do hers. I said... And I was pregnant at the time. This shit was going on. So, yeah. I said, um, I also took time to, I also took my time to do your hair and I provide the hair that I did not charge you for. Because I do not charge, I do not provide hair for locks. Lock hair is expensive. Granted, I didn't even buy the hair. It was leftover hair from my first client, but she did not know that. All she knew was I was providing hair for her and I did not charge her for that. If I was, if I was to provide hair, for locks, it would be 60 plus dollars extra, you know? Um, I also said it only has been two days that they are locks. If, if I was doing them too tight, you could have let me know, but you did not. And also, you just stated that you love your hair, so I would be cheating myself and wasting my own time if I were to you. Let me know if I'm wrong. Like, honestly, I did not do anything wrong. All I did was do your hair. If I wouldn't need your hair too loose, then you'd be complaining about that. Oh, my locks sliding out. Like, and like I said, if I'm doing your hair and it's too tight for your liking, all you have to do is say something. You did not say anything to me. You know? So she texted me back. She said, of course I love that I picked it out. Also, yes, I appreciate you for providing the extra hair and taking the time to do it. You yourself even stated that it looked tight when you were finished. Yeah, it do. It's, it was tight. She, I know it was tight. They lost. Again, her real hair, I had like, I, I can't First of all, the locks that she bought come with curly ends, right? It's a difference between the locks with the curly ends and the locks without the curly ends. The locks without the curly ends, the top of, like, the, the loop is real thin. So you don't have to wrap around as much to cover the beginning of the lock. The lock with the curly hair at the end is thick. So you have to wrap it a lot to cover the lock up at the top. If not, it'll be bulky, basically. And you will see the lock hanging out, basically. So that's why... I mean, of course, it was gonna, it's going to be tight because I had to do my job and cover the hair. So, she said, what else? I, I, I have a video that shows it was too tight in the back and how much it was putting on my scalp, which was causing it to have many, many lumps. Many, many lumps, which wouldn't be there unless it was too tight. Where's the video? She never sent me a video of these many, many lumps. She never sent me proof that she take took her hair down. She never sent me proof of nothing. Only her word and I'm not. 
you're not gonna play in my face like that. She said, as far as loving it, I like the way the colors came together, but as far as the tightness, you could definitely tell in the front that it was too tight because the locks were sticking straight up opposed to your other clients with locks on Instagram. So I did not respond after that because I already said that I wasn't giving you a refund. I said what I had to say and I left it at that because I did not do anything wrong. She said her locks were sticking up. Like I said, I'm gonna go on my Instagram and I'm gonna find a picture I'm gonna put it on the side. Her locks was not sticking up. Don't play with me like that. But yes, they were tight, but like I said, they're locks. Everybody locks are tight. You did not give yourself enough time. You did not give your locks enough time to loosen up. You only gave them a day, like you said, you took them down saying that. You didn't even try to get in the shower. And then the hot water loosen up. So you know. Let me know if I'm wrong. I just wanna know. But yeah, that was a minute little story time. But yeah, I wasn't giving her no refund, not for that. And no proof. Like make it make sense. I also have another story time back last year. Around this time, February, and a girl tried to say she took her hair down and stuff like that. I might tell y'all this story time. But I don't have the receipts for that one because at that time, um, I only had one phone. I was using a texting app to talk to my clients, and I don't have an app no more, so. But yeah. So. Mm, if I can, um, I'm about to tell y'all that one time. But yeah, that's just a little man's story time. She tried to finesse me out of a refund, and I wasn't going for it. Also, guys, I just want to say, can y'all give me to 6,000 subscribers? I literally hit 5,000 subscribers in August. It's February. Now, I don't want to complain and then like that, but sometimes it's just like when you want something so bad and you feel like you're putting work into it and stuff like that and you see it's not going anywhere, it gets, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Overwhelming. Uh, you become probably disappointed and stuff. I, you know, I just be. Like, damn, like, why is my channel just stop growing? Like, I've been at 5K subscribers for the longest. Like, you know, I be disappointed sometimes. It, it discourages me from making videos and stuff like that. But, I ain't gonna stop making videos. Y'all know I love y'all. But, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Right now, I'm at 5,800. So, we just need 200 more subscribers to hit 6K. So, make sure y'all like my videos. Comment on them. So my videos can get pushed out more you know so other people can see it share my videos y'all know tag me on instagram stuff like that i always be responding to y'all and stuff oh no no it's like good here i'm hungry i'm gonna start talking about let me bite my sandwich Hey, Queen did her shit on Hate I Love. Cause they hate I love. They wanna see us fall. They wanna see us fall. They be hating on us. I love this song. I love it before it even came out. One of you and your wasting. Cause you're in your face, 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 you're in your I need to hurry up though, cause I have another client and I gotta go to the hair store. I don't really gotta go to the hair store. But, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. I just wanna come over here and give y'all a little quick video. And then since I ordered so much food, I was like, hmm, might as well do a mukbang. You know, just talk, give y'all a reason to give y'all that little bitty mini story time without having to like make it into a whole video and it's only been like five minutes long. So, I'm sorry here. Mm -hmm. I'm so done. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications, but see you in the face. I love the video. I become one of my best friends because I love all my best friends. I'm a big friend of me. And that's on who? And that's on what? Somebody piece of pepper in there. Come on.
Period. I love you guys so much. I can fit and eat my food so I can go to the test. Probably try to slide me a little nap in before 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. They have a conversations on the trendy topic. I'm just trying to see what's in your fucking wallet. Type of bitch that make a nigga empty out his pockets. Broke boy, wanna talk, nigga, please stop it.